Hey guys, on today's video, we're gonna be updating your iPad. Anyways, let's just get started, going right into system, well, settings actually. Under your settings, you will see software update as your second option under general. However, let's say you don't see this, doesn't matter. Go into search, under search, type in update. Then from here, you should see software update. And then you should see this. If you don't turn on and off automatic updates, that should refresh things, you should be able to see this. It's only underneath a gig of an update, so it's a pretty fast and pretty quick one. Now let's say you guys didn't see none of that. Go back again, go into general, second option, soft update, and you will get here. Anyways, right now, all you guys have to do is just press on update now, put in your passcode. Once you do so, it's just gonna download the update then, and only then, it's gonna install it. Now, usually I tell you guys to go ahead and back up your iPad before doing anything like this. However, this is a pretty small update, but if you are worried about anything, go ahead and make a backup. Make sure to have things online, so your, your pictures, you don't really have to have iCloud. You could back them up in so many different ways. And if you really don't wanna pay anything, the cheapest way is actually to hook it up to your Mac or PC and just back it up there. If you're having any issues, you guys can also update it through there. So just connect it up, use iTunes on PC, and on Mac Finder to run the update and even a backup right there on your Mac using Finder. Anyways, right now, all you guys have to do is just wait, just let it be, it's gonna restart by itself. You will see a loading screen with an Apple logo on it and then it's gonna be done. So just let it be, make sure it's charging while this is happening and you should be good to go. Now, how long will this take? Well, it does depend on your internet speed again for the download, but uh, the installation time actually depends on your iPad. If it's an older iPad, it tends to take a little bit longer than your iPads. All right, so if you just left your iPad to be, would it just restart by itself? You would have seen Apple logo loading bar and then you would say soft update and you're done. So just swipe up. And then from there, just go into here. So you guys can see that everything went okay. And that would be it for this update. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write down in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.